Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Motorsport 5 with the announcement of a new competition. We're going to be running another tuning series. Some of you may remember way back, long time ago now, uh, we ran a tuning competition on Forza 4 that eventually morphed into Versus the Community. I thought I'd bring bring the, the competition back though. It was good fun. And on Forza 5 we have some more options. There's a lot more you can do with the cars in respect to drive train swaps and engine swaps uh, I thought it'd be interesting yeah to to bring it back there isn't there's quite the same number of cars to choose from which is a little bit of a shame but there should still be plenty of variety to do a tuning competition with and it gets a you know a little bit more community involvement and so on uh, yeah I thought it could be an interesting series to uh, to to bring back uh, if you like now this particular competition is going to be for a class cars I went for a class uh, firstly, to have a little bit more choice of cars, as there aren't as many cars in Forza 5, by upping the uh, the class to A, you get a lot of choice. There are a lot of vehicles you can use in A class. Most of the supercars, or yeah, most of the supercars are, are just about in A class. Or quite a lot of supercars are just about in A class, like Gallardos, Merchlagos, and that kind of thing can just about fit in A class. Uh, so there's there's plenty of there's plenty of options of uh, of vehicles you can choose. And the track that I have selected to use for this is Long Beach. The reason being, I'm going to be driving the cars. I want to be driving on a track that I like. And I do like driving around Long Beach. It is a good fun place uh, to drive. I'm fairly decent around Long Beach as well. So I figured I would uh, use this track. And of course, that is very important when it comes to building your car. How you're going to build your car at a circuit like this. As well, it's not a particularly fast circuit uh, around here. It's a decent short lap. I don't tend to like tracks with too long uh, lap times. Uh, it's a decent, fairly short lap uh, around here. Uh, but it's an interesting, tricky one to build a car for. There are a couple of straights, so you do need a little bit of straight line speed. Uh, but there are also quite a lot of tight, twisty corners. It's a fairly narrow track in some places. Uh, so yeah, you're going to have to build your car accordingly for this particular track. The vehicle that I have opted to use as the, the sort of the benchmark car, if you like, a Mitsubishi GTO. The reason I'm using this is something I hadn't driven and I was kind of curious to see what I could do with it. Um, yeah, I haven't spent a huge amount of time uh, tuning this. I've, I've basically built it to be half decent A-class car. That's why I quite like it, uh, in all honesty. It has the V8 engine from a Ferrari 458 in it, so we've got 562 horsepower at 400, near enough 400 torques. A little bit on the heavier side, 2,890 pounds, and the brakes are the main thing that let this car down. It is still four-wheel drive, has racing tyres on it. Uh, quite a nice handling car, of course, being a four-wheel drive. We have very, very good traction out of the corners, but being just that little bit heavier and just not quite as nice brakes as I would like, it's a little bit of a pain getting it stopped into some of the corners. I can see brakes are going to be a big important thing in uh, in this particular challenge because of the, the nature of the circuit that we are driving around. I, I do like the, the GTO, I have to say. It drove better than perhaps I expected it to. Yeah, brakes let it down a little bit, but it's got a decent amount of power and being four-wheel drive, you can fire it out of the corners uh, pretty damn quickly. And the target lap time to beat, if you like, the benchmark lap time that this vehicle set was a 125.961. So this is the sort of, yeah, the, the, target, the target time uh, for the other vehicles. The way the competition is uh, going to work is you, people are going to go build your cars, upload them to the storefront share thing, I don't quite know what they call it, in uh, in Forza 5. I will then go and download them. If you want to do paint jobs for your car, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you can upload them to your sharey thing as well, and uh, I will download them for the car, provided they're not anything uh, too stupid. Uh, then they will be given 10 laps to set as fast a lap time as possible. I have to restrict it to 10 laps just to keep the time down, if you like. Yes, if you keep driving and driving and driving, you will get faster. But every vehicle is going to have 10 laps. The Mitsubishi here had 10 laps around this track. I know the track know the track very, very well. Um, so 10 laps should be more than enough time for me to get used to the car and set a lap time with the particular vehicle. Uh, yeah, I, have to, I have to limit the time, otherwise it goes on forever uh, doing this sort of thing. So yeah, 10 laps uh, should be a suitable amount for the vehicles. It takes it's sort of 12, 13 minutes uh, time of driving, if you like. Now, as far as cars go, I am going to ban 
uh, four vehicles I'm going to ban for this series. Alpha 33 is pretty much an OP car in whatever it goes in. Alpha is stupidly fast. KTM Crossbow, Lancia 037 and the Golf R32. When I looked at the leaderboards, they're the four cars that are popping up quite a lot in the, the top of the leaderboard, so I'm going to ban them because otherwise we're just going to get stacks of the same vehicle. None of them cars are allowed to be entered. Everything else uh, that can be put up into A-Class, you are more than welcome to enter. You can have whatever drivetrain you want, you can have whatever engine you want, you can build the car. It's all completely up to you, uh, provided you're not using uh, <laughs> one of them three vehicles. So I'm hoping we can get a decent, a decent variety of cars uh, for this series. There are a couple of things that you should bear in mind. It's going to be me that's going to do the driving uh, for this series. My driving style, uh, for those, those of you that regu regularly watch our videos will know, uh, I do not like a car that has a lot of oversteer. I don't like a car that slides around particularly. If I'm trying to get a fast lap time out of a vehicle, I want it to be planted on the road. If that means it has a little bit of understeer, I would rather have that than have a very oversteer car. Like Lots of understeer and lots of oversteer are bad. Uh, I Personally, I don't want a car to be oversteering. That's just the way that I drive. I know it sounds a bit weird, um, or, or shall I say, it doesn't sound weird to me. Lots of people say it's weird, um, but that's just the way I drive. So, yeah, bear that in mind when you're building a car. I'm not as good with a slidey vehicle as I am uh, <laughs> with a with a more understeer. It's just, yeah, it's a strange thing. It's just my driving style uh, when it comes to uh, to building. Even this Mitsubishi is a little bit oversteery for my liking, despite it being four wheel drive. Uh, it, you will have seen it sliding about uh, a little bit on here. Uh, also, I run with simulation steering, which means that uh, cars tend to be a little bit more twitchy. Uh, so if you go for a very twitchy setup, go for a very twitchy vehicle, I'm more likely to have problems with that, uh, seeing as I run uh, with simulation steering. I think that's that's about all the warnings for the, for the building of the cars. If you want to submit a vehicle to this series, then this will all be done via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the official event section and the Forza 5 bit in there, and that is where there'll be a thread in there. You, you can submit your cars to us. Uh, we're probably going to be doing uh, three cars an episode. It depend on how many entries we get. We'll get. I'm, I'm hoping we'll get a decent amount. Uh, it will take a while, possibly, to get through them all. Uh, we're going to try and do yeah three, maybe four cars uh, per episode, and then there'll be a bigger leaderboard uh, probably at the end of the videos, and you'll find the whole thing uh, on the forums as well. Uh, with the first cars, hopefully, uh, this series starting proper proper next week. Uh, again, it'll depend on the entries and so on. However, that is it for this video, guys. I look forward to seeing what you lot come up with and uh, yeah, seeing how terribly my Mitsubishi does in comparison. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.